Okay, okay. Can you guys hear me? Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. All right, all right. Um, yes, we can hear you. Firstly, apologize for... Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Yes. Let me apologize for the baby network uh, problem and also for uh people finding it uh, very difficult to join um so let me share my screen you can see oh, oh, oh. Okay. all right um i think we just have a few um introduction for people that are already active now uh, my name is samson dugo and I'm an Agua ambassador, and I can see some couple of ambassadors in the house. So please, if you can just briefly um, introduce yourself. Okay, um, Edi Diangepovo, also Agua ambassador. Thank you, Edi Diang. Welcome. Um, Nafsi Dabuk. I'm also an Agua ambassador. All right. Thank you, Mr. Nafti. Um, yeah, uh, I believe um, we are all uh, blockchain enthusiasts, but for the, uh, let me just have a briefly uh, overview of what blockchain is for those who don't know and what cryptocurrency is, all right? Yeah, um, blockchain, blockchain, it's uh, a peer-to-peer -peer network. It's a chain of block being linked together. Yeah, a chain of block, or it's a block a list of cryptographic record being linked together, okay? And uh, in this blockchain, there are so many of uh, so many technology behind it, and that's where uh, cryptocurrency comes in. And most people, most people, the ideology, the ideology they have about uh, cryptocurrency is Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin, yeah, is a crypto uh, is a, a, a digital asset, yeah, which is true. And then not just bitcoin there are so many of these uh, cryptocurrency that are on the um, blockchain and which we, i'm going to just have a brief overview of it um what is cryptocurrency yeah cryptocurrency it's uh it's a digital asset like a digital form of money yeah uh it's being used for peer-to-peer -peer system that's the blockchain all right and with um the with couple of uh agora ambassador how to be i think we're going to have a discussion more about why we should build on agora and i will give room for uh mr naftali and Edidium to talk more about it okay so um yeah i believe i explain what blockchain is and if and, and cryptocurrency and in this um, um blockchain um, blockchain is a decentralized system. Yeah, a decentralized, like we all know, centralized system that we use in our uh, in Africa or in Nigeria, the or in the world. So the we always trust one party for most of our information. Like for example, um, bank. That most people trust bank for with uh, their money, and you know today. A, blank, a bank, like I saw a post recently, sorry, I saw a post recently from a friend of mine that posted about um, this scam, something that is going on in Access Bank right now that uh, someone someone is able to hack into their system and wanted to, or want to uh, uh, withdraw or scam them of a lot of cash, uh, which is very bad. And because the bank, it's not a decentralized system. It's very possible for them to hack it. Okay. So uh, in blockchain, blockchain solves this kind of problem. Okay, where it shares it not publicly, where nobody, like nobody, I mean, like nobody, can tamper with it. You get. So, um, but the main topic why we are all here today is um, why we should build on algorithm. Okay, and if let me um, give an example of um, of uh, electric, electronic system or a decentralized system of voting in Africa or in Nigeria. We all know how 
our leaders used to rig for election, okay? So if we have an electronic system of voting in or on Algorand, it's really going to be a solution to, for uh, election in Africa, okay? Where our votes count. Truth be told, uh, most times our votes don't count in this country because if they want to rig, they rig, okay? And then most of our uh, election in this country is to rig it. Okay, so if we have uh, if we have solution on blockchain where um, where our votes count and then we can vote at any time at any of our pace, okay, is going to really be a blockchain solution, okay. And also let's talk about a, a um, payment system. All right, we all know how um, Bitcoin or how yeah how Bitcoin works. Like if you are making a transaction, um, it takes time for the transaction to be executed, okay? And then if you are building any payment system on Algorand, um, you can have like more than 1,000 transactions per second here in Algorand. So building solution on Algorand, it feds, it's very fast, okay? And also sticking in uh, Algorand, you, you have uh, you can participate in consensus. Algorand is a pure proof of of, of stake, where with as little as zero, uh, one algos you can participate in consensus. Okay, so let's 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 discuss. Uh, since I have uh, some of the ambassadors in the room, let's 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 discuss more about why why yeah well, let's discuss more on why we should build on Algorand and um, blockchain. So. Uh, let me let me give room for uh, Mr. Didion. Are you here with us? Yes, yes, yes. Um, so right. thank you. All right. let, yeah. let, okay, please. Can you just enlighten us more about why we should do on Algorand because that's the topic for today. Okay. Okay. Um, so um, first of all, uh, you talked about um, blockchain because without um, blockchain, we won't have cryptocurrencies. Sure. And uh, blockchain is like um, the framework on which um, cryptocurrencies are built. And then um, bringing it down to Africa, bringing it down to Africa, I think one of the um, most important use cases that we can have for blockchain is cryptocurrency because yeah. of um, the widespread um, poverty in um, Africa. Now, the poverty is caused by many reasons, um, some of which are corruption by the political leaders and um, inflation. And even um, today, I was having a discussion with someone and the person said, even the banks are robbing us legally. That is, you put your money in the bank and they deduct SMS charges, they um, charge you for different kind of fees that are unexplainable. Yeah, but yeah, that's you, custom duty. You, yeah, stamp duty, exactly. Like some months ago, we had um, an example of a bank that was charging people stamp duties that was just the amount you are just absurd. So I feel when you actually use cryptocurrencies, you actually have full rights over your assets. And being decentralized means that nobody has control over your assets. Now, before now, before now, I used to think that um, having real estate was actually um, one of the best, or let me say, it, to me, it used to be the best investment. That's what I thought. But truth is, in a country like ours, the government can just wake up one morning and decide to take away your land. They say they want to use it to build one infrastructure like that. And yeah. um, sometimes they pay you compensation that might not even amount to anything. Sometimes they just let them um, send you from your land. But when you own digital assets like cryptocurrencies, you, nobody can take it away from you. There is a saying in the cryptocurrency space that um, once you have the keys, the funds are yours. 
So yeah. um, blockchain, the first and most important use case of blockchain is um, cryptocurrencies. And like I said, it's to um, diminish the level of poverty in the land. And also, um, it also reduces all these um, charges that we lose to banks and other central organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, like yeah. you're trying to make a remittance, send money to someone, and they're charging you absurd fees for the transaction. When you're using cryptocurrencies, especially on Algorand, being pure proof of stake um, consensus, with very low fees and very fast transaction, you actually save all those costs. Yeah. Then, um, like you rightly said, it can also be used for um, voting. It yeah. can also be used. Another, another very important use case I actually feel would be very nice it is also um, for identity. Because yeah. you realize that uh, you're going to the hospital they ask you, you have to register and you have to fill one very long form and you want to get your driver's license, you have to fill another form, yeah. do another registration. Do another, yeah. You have to clean sleep, you have to do fact, if, if, if you buy SIM, you have to still do another registration, a SIM card. Yeah. So if we just use a blockchain to build a, a system where your... Um, details all your details are just recorded on a blockchain and you don't need to do multiple registrations and um, sometimes okay the other day i was in a bank and a man came to the customer care and he was laying a complaint and according to him he was telling the um, woman at the customer care and that um, i think he wanted to redeem some amount of money from an account and the woman asked him for his ID card. He gave the woman the ID card and the woman asked him for his name. He said his name and the name he said was not what was on his ID card. Wow. And the thing for another means of identification. <laughs> and it's a different name on that um, different documents that he provided. So those conflicting areas can be solved um, using a blockchain solution. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I think blockchain really has many advantages, very many advantages that we can leverage on and solve many problems in our society. Well, all right. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Edion. Thank you for this uh, light um, explanation about why we should build on um, blockchain. Uh, Mr. Nafti. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you, Samson, for giving me the opportunity to talk. Um, okay. Algorand, I've been in the blockchain space for a while, but Algorand has been the ideal blockchain platform for everyone that wants to key in to blockchain technology. Because it's scalable, efficient, and then it's the new technology the futures of Algorand, you can, all these use cases, especially in Africa, most of the problem we have, if you narrow it down, you see that blockchain will solve most of the problems. For instance, um, like the, the Northeast, um, let me take me to Greece, for instance, there's been a lot of insurgency there and most students, tend to leave school, someone is in his final year, and he has to leave and go back to 100 level in another university, just because of he could not get access to his transcript. Yeah. So you see, if, if we can key into such technology, our institutions to probably transcripts on the blockchain, wherever you are, you can access it. And then that has caused a lot of problem for many people. I know of a person that spent four years in the university but he had to start all over again. Wow. He has no proof. So it's, 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 it's a problem. And but if we can key into such technology, then, uh, it's, then we don't have such problem. We wouldn't be having such problem. And when we come to, as um, Edidion mentioned, he talked about, he mentioned the uh, uh, identity. It has been one of the yeah. key use cases that I always emphasize on. 
Because you can imagine, in Nigeria, you go to road safety office to do your driver's license, you take biometric, you go for voter's card, you take biometric, biometrics, you go yeah. to the bank, biometrics, almost everything you do, biometrics, Passport, biometrics, everything. Are, yes, and all these things are being managed by the government. Why can't they harmonize it, have a, centra- a, a decentralized system for such thing, whereby anyone that needs, if you go to the bank and they need your biometric, they key in and they get everything. You can't change it. It's your biometric. Yeah, and it then we share publicly. So, so, and then nobody can steal it. But then you, you, they make us go through some stress and then, and also the bank overcharge us for duty, stamp, and other transaction fee. At yeah. the end of the month, you, 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 you end up spending your money. In fact, the bank, bank charges for maintenance. Eh? So, as far as I'm concerned, Algorand blockchain, it's, it's the platform for us to key into such ideas. We should build on Algorand. We should build such ideas because it's fast. You can imagine a transaction, um, over 1,000 transactions between, um, well, I think, um, yes, how many seconds? So that's, it's faster than our banking system. I can say that it's faster. So it's faster than even other cryptocurrency uh, uh, platforms. Yeah. So I would want people to really key into Algorand and then we have ideas. We have people that have good ideas that would work on the blockchain. So I would want us to bring our ideas together and then we build. Algorand is the place for us to build such ideas. Oh, uh, thank you guys for this great contribution. And also, let me talk about our e-commerce. Yeah, sorry if uh, a Jumia agent or the CEO of Jumia we heard this, but then we know how we know how people complain about ordering from uh, Jumia, and then it's not what they see or what they order that they, that they, that's been delivered to them. We are heard of so many complaints, yeah, about people ordering uh, a good Nike shoe from maybe let's say from a Nike store, let's say if it's hundred dollars. And then what they get is something different, something that is being um, uh, construct or built or, or, or produced at ABA market here in Nigeria. So if we have a, this decentralized system of e-commerce, yeah, we have goods from ABA. Yeah, okay, I'm buying from ABA. Yeah, I'm buying from Lagos. I'm buying from, you get, we know that this is the store that we are buying from. And then this is the price. Not that we've seen a goods on, uh, uh, on, on Jumia, why I use Jumia? Because yeah, I had so many complaints about Jumia. Yeah. In fact, I'm, I was once a victim of Jumia where you order for a shoe worth $100 and from a Nike store original, and then what is being delivered to you is something different. So if you have this kind, uh, this kind of solution on Algorand blockchain, it's going, to be, it's going to be great for our own economy in here in Nigeria. Okay, and then also inter- entrepreneurs need to check Algorand because with the transaction speed, come on, it's it's something different, yeah. You have multiple transactions, like more than one thousand transactions in between one to five seconds. Well, wow. and then the tra- uh, transaction cost is little as as zero point zero zero one and Argos. Which 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 platform has these unique features? I don't think we have any uh, platform uh, cryptocurrency that has these uh, unique features. So these are the kinds of um, this is why oh this uh, yeah this is why we should build on Algorand. Algorand is very fast. It's very secure. Yeah, Algorand solves the issues of scalability. Yeah, so, we have. Let me just let, yeah. let me just add some, let me just add something. Okay. So um, recently we seen um defi tokens um do a whole lot of pump um recently especially on uniswap where um you see a defi token like um yen finance um has even surpassed uh, the price of bitcoin recently <clears throat> and funny enough um, people are in high demand of these defi tokens and when they try to buy on uh, uniswap that's um, that's a decentralized exchange. Um, there was once I saw a transaction fee of three Ethereum. Wow! So can you? That's can you over. That's over. That's over one thousand dollars. 
can you imagine paying such transaction fee just to get um, one of those gems? But imagine if um, you build such uh, a different um, decentralized exchange on Algorand or um, a DeFi token on Algorand mm -hmm. or a kind of marketplace where you can easily swap tokens and um, other um, digital assets on the blockchain. And Algorand makes it just um, very easy and um, fast and then with very low transaction fees because um, this pure, pure um, proof of stake um, consensus what is it really um, it's it's um, a way where um, people actually um, come together to work uh, and validate um, transactions on algorand and yeah. you notice that the um, pro, pure proof of stake system actually is more decentralized than other um, consensus mechanisms that you might think of. Yeah. And even Ethereum themselves are soon switching or are planning to switch to um, the proof of stake, although theirs is going to be delegated proof of stake, which still is not as decentralized as Algorand is. Yeah. Yeah. There are many advantages of um, building on the Algorand blockchain. Very many, very many. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, you, are all, you are all hearing this great uh, opportunity why you should build on Algorand. So for entrepreneurs, you know wh why you need to build on Algorand. It's very fast, and then it's a fast-growing industry. You know, you don't want to miss this um, opportunity. And then it's easy to network. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to network in Algorand. You get and then there are rooms for innovation you get you we have the 250 million grant program that we do and you can apply for grant so there are so many opportunities why we or why you should do on our grant and it's easy to it's easy to raise capital yeah very easy it is a decentralized system yeah it's very easy so entrepreneurs i think you should take your time and check on our grant let me show you guys where or yeah how to participate to participate, you can join our committee um, link, and then you can start building. Very easy. You can start building your solution on Algorand. Yeah, how to get started? You can visit our developers .algorand .org. Again, you can see yeah our new features. Yeah, and then also uh, let me share my committee link. Oh, okay. You can log into community community.algorand.com. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we are running out of time. Okay. Let me just um this is uh Sylvia Mark Howley, the founder of uh Algorand. Yeah, and the executive team here, Shem Ford, the CEO, and Stephen Conquest, Conquinos, the CEO of uh Algorand. And then we have more than 1,000, like I said, 1,000, more than 100 plus uh, ambassadors in different countries, okay, representing uh, Algorand, okay. And then thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Didion. Thank you, Mr. Naftali for joining this uh, section and for contributing. I hope our entrepreneurs will join or will participate in Algorand. So we, and sorry, if there's any question, you can drop your question on the YouTube uh, link on the YouTube channel. Okay, you can ask me any question and I will respond to you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. That's the end of the class.